Well, happy Sabbath, uh, friends and family. And uh, today is a very special day. We are just so blessed by the many young people who have committed their lives to Jesus Christ. And today is um, a wonderful day because we have uh, with us the Conti Dent. Uh, today is uh, the day for her baptism. And uh, just a powerful story, one that really encourages me. I think we want to start this service by first taking your minds back to a text in the Bible, in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 15 and verse 10. Jesus, having told a story about a coin that was lost, at the end of it, he mentions or speaks these words, likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one person who repents, one sinner who repents. This is a wonderful, wonderful truth that on a day like this, angels in heaven are celebrating. And it is for us to join in the celebration when one person gives their life to Jesus. Now, the Conti, I want to invite you to come up um, with us here as we go through uh, the baptismal service. And I want to invite Haley as well to join us. I just want, to, want for us to reflect for a brief moment as to how God led in the life of the Conti, and uh, God has worked wonderful miracles, um, and I just wanted to give uh, De Conti some time to share with us um, a part of her story. Uh, De Conti, how did the Lord lead you to this decision? Um, okay, so uh, it was during last year of um, the fall semester. I had a math class with Haiti. Um, it was a math yeah, math class. So basically, we was doing homework together, and then, um, and then she was reading a book. I forgot the name. And then I asked her about the book, and then she told me that it was it was about a pastor that was put into prison because of his faith. So we had a little discussion, and then afterwards we just started talking. Um, so we started studying the Bible together. Uh, she invited me for Bible study. Um, for the, just the two of us, two of us, so we was walking around in the, like the campus buildings, looking for a spot to sit down and read a Bible together. And then after that, um, there was like a little Bible study night that was going on in the library. And then I decided to go that day to just to see how it, how it was because I was looking for I was looking forward to it anyway. So so yeah, so that was my first time at the Bible study with Haiti. Um, should I continue? Um, amen. Um, so from the Bible study, if I'm not mistaken, I think I came to LCC, um, one of those, during one of your small groups, yeah. um, it was and the last, one. the last one, I think the last one for the year, yeah. right? And that's where I met the Conti, mm -hmm. and we had talked about GYC for some reason. I, I forgot how the conversation came up, and we, I invited you to GYC, and then... <laughs> Yeah, so Pastor Jeremy invited me to invited me to GYC, and I was like, "Oh, what is that?" And then he was like, "Well, it's like a, it's for youth and people like Seven Day Advent to me, that people usually have like it's a set, well, yeah, it was for everybody to gather together and just praise the Lord and they have different set, um, stuff going on that day." And I was like, "Oh, I never been there before." And then he was like, "Okay, well, you are invited, so just give me your information and." <laughs> He was like, give me your information, and I will sign you up for it. So, yeah, that's how it began. Yeah, and then we went to GYC in December, and uh, we all uh, got together, and I think uh, it was dur during GYC, if I'm not mistaken, the Conti on Sabbath, a sermon was preached, and the Lord spoke to you, and there was a burden resting on your heart, and I think you, you had gone up for the appeal. Yeah. Right? Yes. And you felt like you needed to give your life to to God. Mm -hmm. And from there, we came back from GYC, and then uh, Haley started studying with the Conti, or continuing the studies. Mm -hmm. Haley, from, from your perspective, how did the Lord lead um, in, this, in this story here? Yeah, so it's crazy to think that um, the way we met is by struggling in a math class, <laughs> <laughs> because um, we, would, we would just kind of study together. That's kind of how our friendship really began was just we would go to they have like a learning commons where you would um, we would do like a group math study preparing for exams and then um, she came to our small group Bible study and then just from there like our friendship just kept growing and um, yeah we've been studying since like 
October. I think like October, you know, and we just have bonded over so much, and it's been such a blessing to see her grow. Um, and then we went to GYC together, and we roomed together, and just like so many memories that God has allowed us to make. And so it's been a blessing for me, too, to see how her faith has grown. It's inspired me. Yeah. So it's been, it's been amazing. Yeah. Wow. I think, you know, one of the things that, I, that I'm amazed by is how God works. You know, um, I, don't, I don't think any one of us could have predicted a moment like this. Um, I don't think any one of us could have predicted math class, you meeting up <laughs> together and struggling together in math class and then that, that leading to you connecting outside of math class to study the Bible, uh, the Word of God. You know, friends, this is, the, this is the amazing truth that God is still working in the lives of people and God is still using people to make an impact in the lives of others. And so we are just so grateful that we get to share in this wonderful experience. Um, the, we are in the month of April and the year 2020 and weird things are happening around us. Um, as you can see, we're standing uh, six feet apart. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a very special day, and we are not going to let anything take away that experience from us. And so I want to, in, I want to whoever you are who's watching, I want to invite you. Actually, I want to make a request that you pray for DeConte and her experience with Jesus Christ, that you pray for yourself, too, and reflect on a moment like, in a moment like this on your own commitment to Jesus Christ. It's always a pleasure to see someone give their lives to God, and it's always good when we reflect on our own commitment to him during a time like this. So DeConte and Haley, thank you so much, Haley, for sharing. Um, DeConte, thank you so much for sharing. I just wanted to go over um, here the baptismal vows, and again, uh, just respond in the affirmative, I believe, after I read uh, these statements here. So, number one, DeConte, do you believe in a loving God, the Father, in his Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit? I believe. Okay, wonderful. Do you personally accept the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary as a, a complete atonement for your sins? I believe. All right. <coughs> do you believe that you can come directly to a merciful Savior in repentance and confession of sin? I believe. Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word? I believe. All right. Do you believe and have you determined to feed your new spiritual nature by praying daily, studying God's word, and sharing your faith with others? I believe. All right. Do you believe that the purpose of redemption is to cure the moral disease of sin and that sin is the willful violation of God's law, the Ten Commandments? I believe. All right. Do you believe that God in the person of his Son created this world and all that is in it and that Christ established the Sabbath at the beginning of the world as the memorial of his power or creation? I believe. Do you look forward to the glorious, visible, and audible soon return of Jesus? I believe. All right. Do you rejoice that death has been conquered by your risen Savior? Do you believe that mankind sleeps in death, awaiting one of two resurrections? I believe. Do you believe that God's promise is to restore our world to the beauty of Eden? I believe. Do you believe that God is just, that he will not eternally torture those that reject the Savior's appeal, that the wages of sin is death? I believe. Okay. Will you remember Christ as you handle the money that he gives to you by returning to him a faithful tithe and offering as he blesses you? I believe. Do you pledge and believe that you will care for your body as the temple of the Holy Spirit, endeavoring to eat and drink in a helpful manner to the glory of God and to abstain from alcohol, tobacco, habit-forming drugs, and unclean foods. I believe. Okay. The Conte, do you desire to represent the Savior in your parents by modesty and simplicity in dress, not attaching your affection to ornaments as warned against in his holy word? I believe. All right. De Conte, will you honor Christ in your behavior, in the selection of the things that you read? The things that you listen to, the words in conversation, and the choice of associates. Do you wish to be separate from the sinful practices of the world? I believe. All right. Will you joyfully take part in the Lord's Supper and in the ordinance of humility? I believe. All right. Do you believe that all the gifts of the Holy Spirit are to remain in the church until the coming of the Lord, especially the gift of prophecy to be one of the identifying marks of the remnant church? I believe. All right, do you accept the counsel not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some, hit, some is, Hebrews 10.25, that by God's grace you counted the joy to worship in God's house every Sabbath day according to his eternal plan? I believe. 
All right, do you believe that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the remnant church of Bible prophecy into which people of every nation, race, class, and language are invited and accepted? I believe. Do you desire to seal the full acceptance of the Savior's provision for your redemption by immersion in baptism today? I believe. Amen. Now, <laughs> when we are together as a church family, um, in a moment like this, we'll vote the Conti in as a member of our local church. We'll do that when we are all together. And um, we also, this uh, baptisms for the University Church are a very special um, event, and so we'll be able to celebrate together once we are in the same room. Nonetheless, I invite you to celebrate at home and uh, pr pray for us as we continue this service. special day. Um, DeConti has um, professed her love for Jesus and you have heard her story. I know that there's a lot more that has happened and she'll be able to share that with you in person when the time comes. But nonetheless, we are very grateful that we get to join in uh, this celebration. I again want to encourage you to reflect on your own commitment to Jesus Christ as we perform this service. Baptism is very special. I always think of it as uh, a, a wedding day, as uh, the Conte getting married to Jesus, and that's, that's a great relationship to have. So we'll be, we'll be praying for you, and remember Joshua 1, verse 9. All right? I can hold my hand. Okay, so this, this, yep, right here, and this one, and that one. <coughs> and then, would you like a red? No, it's fine. It's fine? All right. All right, so friends, this is, again, a very special day. just want to say that again. De Conti, because of your love for Jesus Christ, and because of your faith in him, and because of how God has worked in your life, as a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> how do you feel? Amen. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for the baptismal service. And uh, again, friends, we're just really longing for us to be together again. Nonetheless, we pray for a blessing on today's service, and we hope to see you soon. God bless. <laughs>